Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate text message based notification with using Amazon SNS and AWS Lambda. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my an example, you know, solution which uses these services from AWS. So here I'm going to show you how you can send a customized notification to a, a phone number with using SNS. OK, so to mimic the scenario, what I have did is I have created a solution where the s3 bucket is a source where you know we will be uploading some files where they know the the developer or an application would be uploading a files to the amazon s3 bucket and that amazon s3 bucket is configured to trigger an aws lambda and that aws lambda has a python code which will actually does the you know the event uh, uh, event reading mechanism and finally publishing a, a fully framed and fine tuned messages to the uh, sns uh, topic right and to that sns topic we will make a phone number that is a, a text based phone number will become a subscriber to this particular sns topic so that whenever somebody publishes a, a message to this sns topic that you know a text that text message phone number or that phone number will will receive an sms about the event okay so this scenario could be used for you know wider businesses uh, you know uh, business applications that runs across the uh, internet right all right so basically this is a, a you know very important uh, and widely used mechanism i can say so here aws provides a native capability where you can use the amazon sns to send notifications to in the form of text messages to a verified phone numbers all right all right so this is how the flow is now what i do is i'm going to take you to the uh, you know uh, basically i'm going to take you to the my uh, aws console and then we will see there you know, how to uh, uh, set that solution and finally i'm going to take you back to the you know actually mimic the scenario yeah all right so as we saw in the previous slide actually so here we need an s3 bucket aws lambda sns topic within the sns we need to configure a phone number a verified phone number as well right all right so let's let's see how we need to do that so currently i'm in my aws account so this is my aws account currently and i'm going to create a bucket example bucket say you know uh say sns uh sms notification now let me say sms notification so notification bucket and i will add it as a demo and just create a bucket like this yeah so just just click on a bucket so bucket will be created since my solution in this demo is you know includes a source equal to s3 bucket whenever somebody uploads you need to send a sms notification to your user right so the whatever you see the sms is nothing but you know user phone number you need to send some notification so this is how we do it so let's say right now i created a prerequisite that is s3 bucket and then we're going to create a aws lambda which is actually does the processing of the event and frames an a, a fine-tuned message and publishes that message to the sns right all right so for that case you know currently i'm in north california region and i'm going to create a, a example a test lambda here so the lambda would be created from the scratch say a test uh, a lambda yeah and the runtime i'm going to use is is run you know python 3.9 i'm going to show you the piece of code which i have created all right so then uh you know the change the default role execution so i'm going to use the native im role which i have already created okay so this is the uh, i know admin privilege role because this is being assumed by my aws lambda so i'm okay to give the uh, no, permissions to uh to that lambda which is helps me to you know which which enables this lambda to do the required job i'm going to click on create functions so once the function is been created so that is not enough we need to perform two more steps first one go to the configuration and click on general general configuration change the settings here so what you do is you have to change the you know maybe increase the memory size for example you know you want some 1 gb data right 1 gb memory similarly just keep the ephemeral storage as well equal to 1 gb and then timeout you can keep it like maximum timeout because anyway so you know you will be charged based on the number of uh you know minutes or the number of seconds that you are running the lambda so based on that only the aws lambda charges you so you can keep by default you know the maximum limit is is 15 minutes so i have saved that lambda basically and then one more thing is we need to update the code so when it comes for the code uh you know so i will i will i will walk you through the code later case but let's complete the one more configurations in the configurations part that is trigger click on the trigger and add trigger here select an s3 bucket select s3 
and then you could you have an option to search your bucket that is the bucket which we created here and here so you know so actually what it tells is you know all right so bucket reason it sells you know the bucket reason must uh, match the all right so it looks like you know we have created a bucket in the in the another reason so that's the reason it is throwing there are what i do is i'm going to take the same name but i'm going to create in a north california uh, reason this is good learning for you this bucket was empty so i'm just going to delete this bucket and we're going to quickly create a bucket in a north california reason so where is my north california reason so this is my north california reason that is uh, uh, that is uh, us west one so basically us west one is the reason right and the name i'm going to just copy paste the whatever name i have added okay so since the bucket name even the bucket is you know at the top level um yeah so at the top level bucket is like um, all right so at the top level bucket is like is a global service but it's still you have to choose the right bucket okay so currently it is saying you know so conflict in the conditional operations currently in progress okay so looks like you know the this bucket name is getting released so that's the reason it is it is not taking giving that name basically so i'm going to create this bucket again i just change the name that's all okay so so this is how you know you need to understand how does the api works from the back end right so i just gave a you know earlier i used to use the same name so it was telling that hey this has been already occupied okay so once i added one which became a unique name and then it allowed me to create it okay all right so with that we have done with i'm just going to refresh it and, and and let's use this one right so with that you know in the event type so currently i'm, I'm i switched back to the you know adding a trigger to my aws lambda i selected s3 bucket and from the s3 bucket i refresh it and i see that you know my bucket is getting reflected here in the event type i choose all types of event which is generates gets generated during the object creation and then rest all operations you know all rest all options are optional so i'm going to keep it by default and i click on and i click on the you know recursive invocation equal to just just click on the check marks and then click on add trigger okay so basically once you are done this one what did you do is basically you did a thing that you know whenever somebody uploads a file into this s3 bucket so it will trigger the lambda anytime okay and this lambda has some code piece of code which i'm going to walk you through now so for this case i have created this piece of code and this code will be shared in my github repository and the github repository will be shared in videos this video's description you can find it from there and, and you know try to use it in your scenarios all right so i'm going to deploy this piece of code again and while it is deploying, I'm going to quickly walk you through this code as well. So let me make it maximized. Yeah, so let me make it maximized for now. All right. So, and then here you go. So here we are importing the Boto3 module. And here, you know, we need an, a topic here, which is, which is yet to be created. And then I have created a function called send SNS. So in this one, we have a message and the subject. Yeah. And then comes the, you know, the client that is SNS client. So this is my client. So to this client, with using this client, you know that with using the Boto3 API of of SNS client, we are using the API called Publics. Uh, publish a message, and this is the topic ARN which we'll we need to keep it here, which is a global variable. And this is the message which has been passed to this as an argument. And the subject line would be the subject line would be passed here. Okay. So basically, what it does is this API command will just publish a message, you know, whatever the message been created. And finally, we are checking whether we have successfully published published the message or not. And this is the try catch, you know, try exception block. Finally, we are returning a true. And let's go to the lambda handler. So lambda handler is a function where actually the invoke of the uh, function starts from where. So here, you know, we are since this lambda is getting triggered by the you know the S3 object creation event, we are printing the event for each event. And I'm, I'm you know we are doing the uh, you know marshalling of the event. So that is you know retrieving the bucket name uh, retrieving the key name right and then retrieving the path as well so similarly the message so i'm framing the message saying like you know the file has been uploaded to the this bucket and this is the path right and finally we are calling the above function which we created just you know here actually all right anyways so anyways you don't need to worry about this code anyway this code is been shared in my github repository and github repository link is been added in this video's description you can find it from there all right, so with that you know we are done with the uh, uh done with the you know this lambda piece now let's go and, and configure on the sns side which is a very important point of uh, our uh, this video right so i'm going to go to the uh, topic so in this topic i'm going to create an sns topic for now i don't want any first in first out but i'm going to go with the standard so let's say you know demo uh, uh, let me say test so i'm just going to give my topic name equal to test yeah rest all option i'm going to create it uh, just optional so i'm going to copy so basically if i go back to the topics you see my topic has been created so i need this arn as i said earlier so in this piece of code we i need to append the 
ERN, which it needs to, you know, the ERN topic, it needs to publish the message. So I have copied that here and I'm again publishing the code because this is the final version of my code. Yeah. All right. So with that, you know, this is the, our topic is ready. Now let's go to the, you know, the subscribers. Okay. So subscribers, it could be email. It could be, you know, SMS. It could be, there could be multiple options. Okay. So to subscribe that, let me go to the subscribe and I'm going to tell you the, you know, the, uh, the further steps that you need to do here. So this is my topic and here, which protocol you want. So basically it supports these many protocols that is HTTP, HTTPS, JSON, email, SQS, KNSS, Lambda, SMS. So here we are interested on SMS. Yeah. So currently we don't have any SNS endpoint. So what is SNS endpoint here? That is a, a phone number, right? So we need to add a phone number here. So I'm going to go to the mobile option. So enter the mobile options, so you have a text messages. So click on the text messages. And then, you know, there is an option called um add a phone number so you see the sandbox destination phone number so currently this account is in a sns sandboxing so what is sns sandboxing is it's a concept concept that aws tells on each services on some you know uh, predefined services they set a limit saying like no nobody should not you know so for, for, for consuming the sns service and publishing the messages to the endpoint it could be email it could be phone number you know you cannot uh, you know you cannot widely send sns uh, you know uh, notification to these endpoints until you have verified those okay so that is what the sandboxing is basically you must verify those then only you can make them as a subscriber when the your account is in a sandboxing if you remove the your account out of the sandboxing means you can directly add any kind of you know the phone number which is a wide open in that case and right? so currently this is in a in a sandboxing mode so we must add a phone number we must verify it and then can be consumed okay so since this is a secure matter of security, I'm not going to, you know, expose my phone number, but I'm going to mimic the, you know, the configuration that you need to, um, uh, you know, uh, do here. Okay. So you just follow the steps, which, you know, I'm suggesting you here, you should be hundred percent. I'm going to give you the guarantee that, you know, you're going to, you, the configuration going to work for you as well. So click on add phone number. So here, you know, you can choose your country. So you see it, it supports the country code as well. For example, you know, currently say I'm in India, so I can just say India and give you your number say for example i'm just typing the random number i don't know what is the, the number i'm typing so just say you know 10 numbers yeah for example say uh this one this one this one yeah this is uh, basically the first five number and this one is five number yeah so this is just a random number this is not belongs to anybody i don't know uh, i'm not going to add it as well so here you know i have added these a uh, phone number this is the 10 digit phone number and then you're going to choose the language in which the message has to be sent so here I'm going to choose English and click on add number. Yeah. All right. So uh, when you add a number, you know, before it gets added to the your number, it will ask you for an, uh, you know, one time OTP. That is one time password. That is OTP will be sent to your phone number, this phone number. And that OTP could be, you know, uh, uh, retrieved from there and just type that OTP or something like this and click on, you know, verify phone number. So once the phone number is verified, you know, so you would you would see something like this okay i'm going to take you to the back to the uh, my ppt where i have added the screenshot because you know i cannot show this configurations live because of the security reason so you see i have verified my phone number and the phone number got verified something like that after i entering the after i add the you know i when i added my phone number uh, there and, and 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 asked for the otp i just provided the otp finally you know it will you will see this configuration reflecting something like this yeah once that is been done yeah uh, then you know so then you are done from this side that is uh, you know adding the phone number here so you should see your phone number reflecting here in this configurations so currently it is pending but you should see uh, this is as a verified yeah if i go here you see it, it should be verified here all right now we are done with the mobile side mobile option configuration that is a text messaging all right now i'm going to take you to the subscribers okay so in the subscribers we already have that topic here right and then in the subscriber you go to the subscriber and click on uh, uh, you know create subscriber and here you know just to choose the topic that is the topic which we created just now and select sms phone number here and it will gonna show that you know so currently our endpoint is not verified so it is not showing you the phone number if that is uh, if that has been verified like this yeah so this number will be reflected here yeah and then click on a create subscription all right so once you create a subscription so basically you know it would look like this yeah 
so once the subscriptions are been created so you should see that you know the subscription like this that is your endpoint is your phone number should be present here it should be confirmed the protocol should be sms and the topic should be test a topic which we created yeah so once this step is also been confirmed you know uh, uh, done we are actually done with the required configurations okay now let me cancel this as well and i'm going to go back to the you know the trigger point so this is our trigger point so what you're going to do is you know in this s3 bucket i'm going to upload some dummy files so that it can trigger my workflow i'm going to add the add files and and go and choose my file from my you know local laptop so here i'm uploading a test file and a policy.json so when you click on this one the upload would be successful as soon as the upload will be successful you know you're going to get a sms notification within a blink of eyes okay so that fast that's how fast it is and you should see this kind of messages in your phone number something like this saying like you now the file has been uploaded at s3 bucket this is the path yeah all right so this is how you know this is how basically you know we achieve um the required you know sns sending automations with using or, or you know sns in the terms of you know sending a sms notification to the your multiple wide variety of customers right with using native capabilities of aws solution so this is the what the solution you know it will gonna help you all right so once you receive this messages you know who not only one you know so not only uh, one subscriber if you can add the multiple subscribers here to that particular topic you know and whatever messages comes to that topic will be distributed to all the you know phone numbers that has been added here all right so with that note i have successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this my video finally i can request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video